every day we're going to discuss addition and subtraction of algebraic expression. So, alam na natin yung ano yung concept natin about algebraic expression. So, itong addition and subtraction of algebraic expression is sa mga foundations sa algebra. So, kung hindi ka marunong na itong addition and subtraction ng mga algebraic expression, may hihirapan tayo sa mga susunod na lesson natin. So, ngayon pa lang, dapat matutunan na agad natin kung paano nga ba pag-add and mag-subtract ng mga uh, expression. Okay? So, sa pag-add and mag-subtract ng expression or algebraic expression, kailangan um, <clears throat> may hindihan din natin yung tinatawag natin yung like terms. Like terms at saka yung unlike terms. So, ano nga ba yung sinabi ng like terms? So, pag sinabi natin like terms, terms that contain same, same variables raised to the same power. So, kapag sinabi natin like terms, ito yung parehas yung variable. Alam naman natin kapag sinabi natin variable, letter. So, kapag nag-add or nagsusubtract daw tayo, kailangan tignan natin yung variable. Kailangan parehas. Parehas dapat. Hindi lang dapat parehas yung variable. Dapat same lang din daw ng exponent. Okay? Take note. So, take note, we can only add or subtract like terms. So, ibig sabihin, pwede lang daw natin i-add or i-subtract yung may like terms. Kapag may parehas like terms, pag sinabi natin like terms, ito yung same variable with same exponent. Hindi lang, alimbawa, parehas sila ng variable, pero magkaiba ng exponent. Hindi sila parehas, hindi sila like terms. Magkaiba sila, unlike terms sa kanila, ang tawag natin doon. Kailangan, parehas ng letter at parehas din dapat na exponent. So, magbigay tayo ng example para lang na hindi ma... Lagi natin may hindi yan kung ano yung sinasabi natin like terms at saka yung unlike terms. So, for example, we have 3x and 7x. Kung titignan natin yung given natin ng 3x at saka yung 7x, parehas ba sila ng variable? Yes, parehas sila ng variable. Check! Parehas ba sila ng exponent? Tignan natin kung parehas ba sila ng exponent. Ang exponent ng, ng x natin, meron siyang invisible 1. Tandaan natin yan ha, any variable yan, may automatic meron silang exponent of 1. Next, sa so 7x, ang exponent din niya ay 1. So, ang tawag natin yan ay like terms. Ano pa? Nabigay tayo na example. Uh, negative a squared and um, 54 a squared. Like terms sila. Bakit natin ang nasabing like terms? Kung titignan natin, parehas sila ng may letter A. At yung letter A natin, parehas may exponent na 2. So, masasabi natin yung negative 7 A squared at 54 A squared ay like terms. Parehas kasi sila ng variable at ng exponent. Okay, ano naman yung unlike terms? So, magiging tayo ng example. So, for example, we have negative 8 X squared and 55 Y squared. Kung titignan natin, sa variable pa lang, magkaiba na. So, hindi sila like terms. Not like terms or unlike terms. Mag ano pa? Mabili pa yung example pa. So, for example, we have 9x cubed and negative 17x squared. Ang 9x cubed ba at ang negative, 17, let's, negative 17x squared ay like terms or unlike terms. Tingnan natin yung variable at yung exponent. Parehas din may x. Okay. Check. How about exponent? Parehas din kaya sila. Exponent na dito ay 3. Ang exponent na dito ay 2. So, hindi. So, dapat itingan natin yung variable at yung exponent. Dapat parehas para masabi natin na like terms sila. Okay? Ano nga ba yung kinalaman ng like terms at unlike terms nila sa pag-add and pagsusubtract ng mga expression. So, magbigay tayo ng example, ha? So, for example, we have 14x plus 5x. So, for example natin, ha? 14x plus 5x. Sabi kanina dito, take note, we can add, we can only add or subtract like terms. So, ibig sabihin, pwede lang daw natin i-add or i-subtract yung parehas yung terms. Okay? Naintindihan na natin kung ano nga ba yung like terms at yung unlike terms. So, pag-add at pag-subtract, dapat parehas yung terms. So, try na natin. So, 14x plus 5x. Tingnan natin. Para silang may x. Check. Para silang exponent. Yes. Meron silang no, invisible 1. 
So kapag na-check na natin yun, pwede na natin i-add yung numerical coefficient. I-apply natin yung operation ng addition and subtraction ng integers. Okay? So, 40 plus 5. Parang silang positive. So, kailangan natin i-add yung numerical coefficient. So, 40 plus 5 is equal to 19. 19. Then, copy natin yung variable na magkaparehas. So, parang sila naman ng x. Copy lang natin. So, the answer is 14x plus 5x is equal to 19x. Ano ba? Number 2, we have 5y minus 13y. Para sila may y? Check natin. Yes, para sila na exponent? Yes. So, kapag parehas, copy na agad natin yan. Then, apply natin yung operation, yung addition and subtraction of integers. Positive? Negative 13. Magkaiba ng sign. Ang ginagawa natin kapag magkaiba ng sign, sinusubtract natin yung numerical coefficient, then kinakapi natin yung sign ng mas malaki. So, 13 minus 8 is equal to 13 minus 5, sorry. So, 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. And copy the sign of the larger number. So, ano ba yung mas malaking sign? 13, yung sign ng 13. Negative. So, the answer is negative 8y. So, naintindi yan? So, magbigay pa tayo ng maraming example. What if number 3, 3x plus 2y. Kung titignan natin yung number 3, magkaiba sila ng variable. Paano natin i-add o isusubtract yan kapag magkaiba ng variable? Kapag magkaiba ng variable or ng exponent, hindi sila parehas, hindi sila like terms. So, kung ano yan, yun na din yung final answer. Hindi kasi natin pwede i-combine yan or i-add or subtract. So, kapag ganyan, hindi natin makombine yung given natin, copy lang natin, and yun na din po yung final answer natin. So, yung 3x plus 2y, hindi natin pwede combine, so yun din po yung final answer natin. Okay tayo na? So, magbigay tayo na medyo makakaba na given. For example, we have 3x plus 2y minus 2x plus 6. Doon pa lang sa given, kailangan i-check na agad natin yung may magkakaparepa yung plus. Mas maganda siguro circle natin or um, i-underline natin yung may magkakaparehas. Unahin natin si x. Meron ba may x dito? Ayun. Ayun. Ah, ayun. So, yung 3x and yung negative 2x. So, 3x minus 2x. Pareha silang may x. So, copy na natin yan. So, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Ang 1 ba? Ilalagay na natin. Ilalagay pa rin ba natin sa, sa variable natin x? No, kahit hindi na. Kasi, automatic, yung numerical na, numerical coefficient natin yung 1, hindi na natin ilalagay kasi automatic na pong meron sa variable yan. Okay? So, 3 minus 2x kasi apply lang natin yung operation na addition and subtraction of integers. Magkaiba ng sign. So, kapag magkaiba ng sign, sinusubtract natin yung numerical coefficient or yung number. After natin masubtract, kinakapi natin yung sign ng mas malaking number. So, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Then, copy the sign of the larger number. So, positive. Kaya naging positive x. Tandaan natin yun na kapag 1 na lang ang nukira, huwag na natin ilagay yun sa variable. Automatic na po kasi meron na po yun. Okay? Next, pag sa tayo x, y. Kay y naman. Meron bang kaparehas si y? Kung titignan natin, wala. Anong gagawin natin kapag walang kaparehas? Kakapi na lang natin. So, copy, copy natin yung positive 2y. So, magiging positive 2y. May nakikira pa ba? Yes. Yung constant term natin. Yung constant term natin. Yung constant term, wala na pang ibang constant term na tayo. Wala na tayong ibang constant term. So, ano gagawin natin sa constant term na yan? Ikakapi na lang din po natin. Kapag wala na um, constant term na iba. Pero kapag meron ibang constant term, kailangan na din natin i-combine nyo. Kailangan natin i-add or i-subtract po yun. Magkakaintindi yan? So, positive 6, wala siyang kaparehas. Copy na lang. Okay po ba tayo na? Last example, we have x cubed minus 2x squared y minus 3x cubed plus 5x squared y minus 2x cubed. 
Combine lang natin yung may magkakaparex sa term. Same variable with same exponent. X cubed. Meron bang X cubed dito? Ayun. So, underline natin. X cubed, X cubed, at X cubed. So, natin. So, X cubed, negative, negative 3 X cubed, at yung negative 2 X cubed. Combine natin. So, yung parehas ang sign muna. Yung parehas ang sign muna. Natatandaan pa ba natin? Kapag parehas ng sign, ina-add natin yung numerical coefficient. Then, ikakapi natin yung sign na magkaparehas. So, unahin muna natin to. So, copy muna natin yung x cube. So, copy natin natin yung sign kasi parehas sila ng sign. So, parehas sila ng x cube. Copy na rin natin yung x cube. Then, add natin yung numerical coefficient. Kapag magkaiba na, Sign. Kapag parehas na sign. Tandaan natin yun ha. Kapag magkaparehas ang sign. Ia-add natin ang numerical coefficient. Parehas silang negative. So, add natin yung numerical. Then, copy natin yung negative na magkaparehas. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So, magiging x cubed minus 5x cubed na po. Ano nang susunod natin? Hapay na rin natin to. Magkaiba ng sign. Positive yung x cubed natin. Negative yung 5x cube natin. Positive, negative. Kapag magkaiba ng sign, isubtract naman natin yung numerical coefficient. Ano ba numerical coefficient ng x cube? 1. Tandaan natin yan na automatic may 1 yan. So kapag magkaiba ng sign, isusubtract natin yung numerical coefficient. So 5 minus 4 is equal to 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Copy natin yung magkaparela sa variable at exponent. So, after natin masubtract yan, yung mga numerical coefficient, i-copy natin yung sign ng mas malaking number. Mas malaking number, 5, anong sign niya? Negative. So, the answer is negative 4x cubed. Tapos na po ba tayo? Hindi pa. x cubed pa lang na sisimplify natin. About yung 2x squared y. Meron mga parehas yung 2x squared y? Yung negative 2x squared, no? 2x, negative 2x squared y, meron ba? Ayun, meron. Yung positive 5x squared y. So, sulat lang natin. So, negative 2x squared y plus 5x squared y. Kung titignan natin, yung x squared, may x squared, may y, may y. Para sila ng term. So, anong gagawin? O, oh, tignan natin yung sign. Magkaiba. Negative. Positive. Kapag magkaiba, isubtract ang numerical coefficient. So, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Then, copy na agad natin yung mga variable at exponent. So, x squared 5. Next, ano pa? After natin masubtract yung numerical coefficient, i-copy natin yung sign ng mas malaking number. Mas malaki yung 5, kunin natin yung sign ng 5. So, the final answer is negative 4x cubed plus 3x squared y. And that is the final answer. Okay? To add or subtract algebraic expression, tandaan natin yung sinasabi natin like terms. We can only add or subtract like terms. Pag sinabi natin like terms, same variable with same exponent. Nagkakainigyan tayo? 